Hey everyone, welcome back to Gumloop. Today we're looking at two nodes, the Extract Single Item node and the Extract Item List node. Let's start with the Extract Single Item node. All right, so this node takes in a single input, text, and uses AI to extract certain information from the text. So if the text passed into the node was the text content of a company's home website, you could extract the company's mission statement by creating a new key item, typing in the name of what we want to extract, and a description of what we want to extract. You could then also add more information that you want to extract, such as the founder's email and so on. All right, now let's take a look at an example. This is a simple flow that scrapes a company's web page, in this case OpenAI, and extracts the company's name, industry, description, and company URL, and then combines all this raw information in a nice structured format and outputs it into an output node. On running this flow, you get a brief summary of the company, which you could then store to a database, send a Slack message internally, or email, and so on. Okay, for the second part of this video, let's take a look at the extract item list node. This node looks very similar to the extract single item node and works in a similar way too. It takes in textual information and extracts lists of information from it. For example, if the input was a scraped LinkedIn page of a company, you could extract a list of all of the names, roles, and email addresses of every employee at that company. This flow does exactly that. It first scrapes Gumloop's LinkedIn page and then extracts lists of information from it which is the first name, last name, email addresses, and roles of everybody that's currently working at the company, and then outputs that information into a Google Sheet. This is what the sheet looks before running the automation. And this is what it looks like after. So why would you rather use these nodes instead of just using the ASCII node to extract the information? Well, you could use the ASCII node to do this, but the outputs you get might not be the best. These nodes have been fine-tuned with the best prompts that would help extract the most relevant information from the text provided and almost always deliver better results than the ASCII node.